support them before you buy anything off of their pages there are a lot of bad eggs on that instagram not all that glitter is a good wow i'm really sorry but your money is gone hi guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is ilora okosa i'm a tv presenter and an aspiring radio oap now um this is the part where i tell you guys to like and subscribe but if you subscribe to my channel trust me you're not gonna regret it because i talk about everything from love to relationship to guys to businesses whatever you name it i talk about it anyway so please like subscribe and don't forget to hit on the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time i post a video that's going to be like you know every week at least once every week i'll definitely post the videos let's get right into the video so have you ever scrolled or maybe just some on a random day maybe scrolling through your instagram feed and saw something that you liked and wanted to buy but you weren't sure if you know the instagram handle was fake or if it was owned by a scammer or if it was genuine you know this video is for you you're going to want to stick around until the end of this video because i will be giving you tips on how to spot these instagram handles that is spot them before you buy anything off of their pages there are a lot of bad eggs on that instagram not all that glitter is a good so tip number one make sure that the instagram handle that you want to buy stuff from is not just an instagram online store make sure that maybe in their bio that they have like a genuine store maybe a store that you can find on google maps maybe a store that you can go to when something happens maybe you have buy and then um, you see that after you have buy they are not picking your code again that is a scamming name it's a scamming instagram page so yeah you don't want to get into those kind of situations so you're going to want to make sure that they are not just an online store so tip number two um check on how many followers that they have for some reason when you um, want to buy something from an instagram page you see that they have a lot of followers even though these days nowadays people buy followers but for some reason seeing that they have a lot of followers kind of gives you some confidence that a lot of people have patronized them and um, liked their products and so therefore they might be genuine you know okay that is tip number two pertaining to tip number three um i know i said that you shouldn't you know purchase from only um stores that are just purely online stores but sometimes you can still purchase from them which is it's a risk but to still make sure that they are genuine and they're not fake or they're not scum addicts or whatever you can go to their instagram page and click on the on that three dotted line there you see about this account when you click on it you see when the um instagram user joined instagram business handle when it joined instagram how many times it has changed its name when you check on how many times it has changed its name if it's a lot it's that that is like a red flag for me because when you see how many times they've changed their names and then sometimes the names don't even match then it's possible that they they are fake that they are a fake instagram page yes yeah, so that helps so that's just tip number three okay let me digress a little a few years back before i knew any of this i wanted to buy cream online hmm. this cream it had you know some and some properties that was good and i'm not going to say what the cream does but it was quite expensive about 13k or so so me now i didn't check all of these things i just wanted the cream so i dm'd the owner and um he replied and said that yeah that he sells the product he still has it in stock blah 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 i said okay how much is it he told me the price he said okay and i said how do i know you're genuine foolish me instead of making research i said i asked the idiot 
how do I know you're genuine? He said, oh, I'm genuine. He sends me a picture of someone who had purchased from him. I said, oh, okay, they seem genuine. So I said, okay, send me your account number. He sent and I paid. The evening of that day, I tried to call the line, wasn't going through. I called again, the number wasn't going through. I went to the Instagram handle and I was blocked. I couldn't see anything. I was like, what in God's name is happening? So I go to the picture that he sent me to show me that someone had purchased from him. And it was like a WhatsApp um, screenshot of a conversation. So I saw a number in that conversation. So I decided to dial the number and the lady picked up and then I asked, I said, sorry, I got your number from so and so, so and so on Instagram. He said you had purchased for him. She was like, oh no, you should have called me before you purchased. That guy is a scam artist. He took my money and I paid him 20 something thousand naira. You should have called me. I've been trying to track the idiots down for like the longest time. And wow, I'm, I'm really sorry, but your money is gone. I was like, okay, thank you very much, mom, for being so kind. You see what I'm saying? So yeah, it's it's really a huge risk trying to buy things from Instagram. So you have to be sure so that your money doesn't go, so you don't go and dash somebody money for just no reason. If you need to dash somebody money, hunty. He go to orphanage home and give somebody money. You dig? But anyways, back to the topic. So after you've gone to check um, about the account and seen all those things, you know, then you can also maybe go ahead to purchase or not to purchase. So tip number four. If the Instagram handle has its comments, disabled that is a red flag do not purchase because if you cannot see people's comments even comments like um how much is your product or i like your product i would like to purchase or i've purchased your product and it's lovely if you cannot see any of those comments on that person's instagram handle do not purchase i am telling you in fact another one happened to me recently i ordered something sometime um last year in december in fact buying things on instagram is a huge risk i must say it is a huge risk half the time you buy they deliver but it's usually a case of what i saw versus what i got it is it is always a huge risk so I ordered something sometime mid-December. I didn't get it till like February. After the woman said, oh, auntie, next week, you will get it, you will get it. I called and called. The number wasn't going through. I text. They would read my text messages and no reply. I just figured that they were um, scam artists. But they later pulled through, which was crap. I don't know how people do business like that. How can you just not reply me for about two months and then reply me two months later and tell me oh we are sorry blah 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 i don't wanna know what happened i don't care i don't i'm not sure if i still want your product but whatever either refund my money or send me the freaking product they eventually sent the product you know so things like that happen so make sure that they have their comment section enabled so you can see people's comments if not Auntie, uncle, sister, don't buy. For reals, don't buy. Anyway, so tip number five. After you've made sure that they have their comment section enabled, then you can go through comments, maybe on that particular product, maybe under the picture that you saw of the thing that you wanted to purchase. You can go to the comment section, read people's comments, and then check on those people who have asked, how much is your product? or I want to buy your products, you can go ahead and go to those people's Instagram handles. <laughs> you have to be thorough about this thing. It's money we're talking about. Money is at stake. You go to those people who have commented, go to their DMs and ask them, hello, good evening, be nice, be polite. Hi, good evening, sorry to bug you. Um, I saw your comments on Susan So's page. 
um, I'd like to purchase the product from them, but I'd like to know if you eventually, you know, purchased from them. Did they deliver? Was the product nice? And if the person has a hat, or if it's a human being, the person will reply you. I've done that so many times before buying anything on Instagram. So yeah, that worked magic for me. So those are my five tips on how to buy anything from instagram after you've gone through all of them then you can go ahead and either purchase or don't purchase you dig anyways um i hope it has been helpful um i actually want to give you one more story so the recent one that happened to someone close to me um my big brother he wanted to get a valentine's gift for his girlfriend so when was valentine last week friday isn't it okay so he made the order on tuesday of that week wednesday thursday friday friday came he called them they said oh we'll deliver we'll deliver blah 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 3 p.m 4 p.m nothing and he didn't want to tell his girlfriend he wanted it to be like a surprise they didn't deliver the freaking order so my brother calls them in the evening and a lady picks up the phone and then he's saying i don't understand you guys though you guys made me a promise that you would deliver to so and so and the person in question hasn't gotten her order what is the problem the lady couldn't say anything and my brother said in the background he could hear some dude telling the lady oh baby don't be answering call you're tired the lady hung up the phone on my brother and it was it was shocking and my brother is a very calm nice and collected person if it was me <laughs> oh lord have mercy anyways back to the gist so friday passed saturday my brother calls and they said oh they'll deliver they'll deliver blah 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 that they have to deliver that day they don't work on sundays blah blah blah, blah. saturday passed nothing sunday monday tuesday wednesday my brother was at his wit's end at this point so he calls them and he threatens them and mind you before them he had called them a couple of times and they hung up on him okay for my own money <laughs> so my brother calls them on wednesday and he gives them a genuine threat and then they call him later that day they deliver finally and guess what it was a what i saw versus what i got scenario because what i saw was not what i got it was supposed to be um a bottle of wine a mug with her face on it then cute cupcakes designed with cookies and chocolate and whatever if you see i'm tempted to name this business they're on instagram I'm tempted to name names, but for the sake of God, I am not going to name names. So they deliver and then they deliver crap. So my brother takes a picture of what he saw versus what he got. He merges the both of them together and posts it on his Instagram, posts it on his WhatsApp, telling people not to patronize these people. So somehow, somehow the picture gets to them. They now call him to start apologizing. Imagine the rubbish. They start apologizing, telling him, blah, 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 blah. Would he like a refund? That he should please take down the picture, blah, 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 blah. We're like, aren't these people heartless? Because I don't understand how people do businesses. Like, how are you supposed to? I, like, I, I don't get how people think or reason nowadays. Like, it's, it's so sad. So... They talk to him, blah, 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 begging him to take down the picture, trying to kiss up to him now. Meanwhile, since they've been using him to play Tinko, now that they've seen that he's a potential threat to them, now they want to suck up. So you just have to be careful before you patronize these Instagram handles. It's crazy out here in these streets. So anyways, I could go on and on about stories of my mad experiences from buying stuff on Instagram. But 
do not do so but i still believe that there are genuine people who have genuine businesses and sell genuine stuff on instagram so i hope my five tips have helped you and i hope that now you will shop wisely on instagram anyways my name is still elora don't forget to like and subscribe and hit on the notification bell and please comment down below and tell me what you think or if you would like more content such as these on this channel until next time bye